All right, we're going to catch our little Lily for the, well, not the first time, I can't tell a fib. She got caught yesterday to have some bloods done to have her Ig test done, which is just how we test to see that they got colostrum and so she's got some um, on board antibodies from her mother's milk. If you have a look at her bottom, has she got a bottom at it? She has actually got very loose um, stools and they've run all over her bottom. So she'll end up with an excoriated bottom. So I'm gonna catch her and then my husband's gonna hold her. I won't make you watch this. And we're just gonna wash her bottom. But usually when you first catch them or anytime they're pretty quick, you usually wait for them to have a drink and then you grab them whilst um, they're drinking. She's in a little locked up yard because she's got a little bit of a gammy hind leg. So we're just locking her up for a week or so and seeing how that goes. The trick to grab them is it looks awful, but it's not awful. You, do, you hold a tail and you hold the chest. And what I will be doing is if she's struggling, I'll be holding her a little bit firmer. The minute she stops struggling, I'll release the pressure on her. Horses learn from release of the pressure. Doesn't matter that they're two days old, I think she is. They still learn that way. So mum's loose, obviously. She's not gonna get too far, uh, move too far. You might not be able to see what I do, so Emma, you might need to find a spot. All right, so she's having a drink. So if the mare will let me in, you might wanna just go that way a bit. No, you gotta be quick. Got to be quick with foals. I sh if someone held the mare, it would be easier. But we'll just see how we go. She probably won't go back for another drink now. But that's okay. I'll sneak over to mum and give mum a pat. Mum knows something's going on. I'm not going to make any eye contact with the foal. And you can see that pooey bottom right there. I really want to clean that up. She's going to go in for a drink. No, nope, she's going to go in the stable. And I'll probably get it in here because it's easier to get her in here. It's all right, kids. All right. I got her. I got her. I got her. It's all right, lovey. I'm going to bring it out where I can see. Good girl. You got the video on? Can you? So I've just got her very lightly here. She'll pan she might panic a bit when Wayne comes in. I'm not actually doing anything because she's not. The minute she sort of gets a fright, I'll squeeze a bit tight on the tail and I just hold her a bit, good girl, it's all right. A bit closer to my body. You're all right, lovey, you can come down. You're all right, kiss, kiss. And that's it, we're gonna clean her butt. Okay, we are back. I think Lily is about five days old now. And you saw us catch her the other day. And every day since then, I've come down and sat in here and had my morning coffee and then come in in the afternoon and sat for a little while so she could come and sniff me at her own pace. But I've also caught her oh, probably a total of six times and for no longer than literally two or three minutes. And you might be wondering why I do this. Personally, I live um, an hour and a half away from my nearest vet so if this filly needs any sort of veterinary care I need to get her on a trailer uh, on a, whoops, sorry sweetheart on a float and get her to the vet so I would rather be able to catch her and pop her on the float with less stress so if she hurt herself let's say she'd have the stress of me catching her the stress of going to the vet and the stress of everything else happening to her so I can reduce that stress by getting her used to being handled to some degree. I would like to pop a falter, a falter, a halter on her, but she will be the one that decides when I do that. I'm just gonna see if I can bring her around to the front. Whoop, she's gonna go in the stable, but that's all right, she'll come out. It's all right, kids. Come on, bugger lugs, come out. Out we go. Out we go. Out we go, you can go out too, kids. Good girl, good girl. So, you can see she's a lot, I'm actually gonna grab her while I can. Okay, so I don't have to hang on to her tail now, as you can see. I'll talk to you more in a minute. It's just from the last few days. Same principle though, if she goes to run away from me, I'll hold her firmer and when she relaxes, I've got nothing, I've just got my arms around her here. So I need to get a halter on her, um, but she's a little bit, oh, she's not too bad at the moment about her face. Obviously it has to go up over her nose. I've rubbed her everywhere. I want her to get used to it. Kizzy's going to get in the way of the camera, but that's all right. She'll move. Hello. Kids, would you like to move, please? We know you're beautiful. But as you can see, she's a lot... Whoop, whoop, 
So now she's fighting. I don't let her go whilst she's wanting to do that. So I want her to relax so I've got nothing around her. I'm just, I'm actually going to leave it at this because this is the best she's been. And she can walk away from me. So she actually is fairly close to being able to be halted. I like them to let me rub them all over their face and everything before I pop a halter on them. As less traumatic as I can um, suits me, but I must be able to handle my foal in case she needs anything. She also, if you remember I said, had a little bit of a bent back leg. That's why she's locked up. They get locked up to help that straighten. She's going to need the farrier to trim her right hind just a tiny bit coming up in the next probably 10 days. So I wanted everything to be less traumatic. So I don't, you saw the first bit and I didn't get any video of in between, but if I'd grabbed her and then every man and his dog had jumped on her and trimmed her foot and did veterinary stuff, it's a lot more, um, it's a lot more traumatic for the foal. So there are people out there that say, leave them in the paddock, let them grow up and that's fine. But I've had a foal at three months that had to go and spend a week in a hospital. And I was thankful that I actually had handled her. So yeah, so that's um, little Lily. She's done very well. Okay. Lily is nine days old. It's been four days since I last handled her. She's a lot more interested in people and she thinks that we're all right. Oh, not since I last handled her, sorry, since you last saw the video. I've probably handled her four or five times since then, as in catching her. But I do spend time in here when I'm mucking out the yard and stuff, actually giving her a cuddle. She's a bit used to being brushed now, just a little bit <laughs> cheeky. So um, she's much easier to catch usually because she'll come up and I can give her a little scratch and then a little hand can go in front. She loves a butt scratch. Come back here. I've got nobody else with me at the moment. So um, I've just got the camera set up there and it might be difficult if she goes out of screen. So I'll just see if we can catch her. So you can see I just got my hands there. Hardly had to catch her. Hope that was in shot. And as you can see, she doesn't struggle anymore. She might think about it. I don't let go of her if she struggles. You want to release the pressure off the foal or any horse when they're doing what you want them to do. So I should be able to rub her all over and um, go down her legs, which I can do. And as you can see, it's a good thing for me that I did this earlier because she has grown so much. She would probably weigh almost as much as me. And if she really wanted to get away from me, I'd have Buckley's of actually keeping her. Now she's, I let go of her when she stops um, pushing on me. She's got flies, yes, no? So she's pretty relaxed there, so I, I just, she can go when she wants. So yeah, so I do it when they're little so that I can manage them and get them on the float as I told you. I have three principles that I follow whenever I'm handling any horse, be it a foal to a 20 year old, 30 year old horse. I have popped a little ebook together. I'll drop the link in the description. Please feel free to come along and download it and have a read and see what I believe are three things that you should always keep in the forefront of your mind when you're handling and training your horse. And it doesn't matter what, where, who, how, or why. They are principles that uh, should be there. So we will halt her, Lily a little bit further down the track. I'm just going to let her be a foal. She's going to go out in the paddock for the first time since she was a day old. The little legs straightened up pretty good. And I'll see if I can get some video of her running around because I'm pretty sure she wants to actually explode out there. But you can see she's much, much more um, friendly than she was before. And that's all due to just spending time with her and being able to um, catch her. So I'll see you all soon. How cute is that? I hope you're enjoying watching these videos of Lily. I'm going to keep them coming along as we train her, as she grows. And I'm also going to add some other videos, training videos in here. So please, if you want to subscribe, hit the subscribe button, that would be lovely. There are some other videos here. If you'd like to look around and see what we've got, I'd love to hear your comments. Place any comments in the comments below the video. I'll be sure and answer you. Thank you.